Hi, my name is Meira Schneider Attic, and I am here to teach you how to look good within Jewish law. One aspect of that is hair covering for married women. And as most of you know by now, mitpachot have become so popular. Now, one thing, one aspect of mitpachot is the sari scarf. The sari scarf is basically a scarf made of strips from sari fabric that are, that are sewn together to create a long scarf. Now, the only problem with sari scarves is that they're not really wide enough to cover most full heads of hair. I have a large head and thick hair, so they definitely don't work for mine. Now, some women have smaller heads and fine ha and really thin, fine hair, so it works, but most women can't do it. The good news is those sari scarves are still 100% wearable. You just have to wear them with a base underneath. And let me tell you, it looks amazing. One thing I love about sari scarves is that they give the look of wearing several mitpachot at once, and they have wonderful texture. So today I'm gonna to demonstrate one of my favorite ways to wear a sari scarf. Now I started with my volumizer in the back because for this wrap, you need the extra volume. And I purposely positioned it high up because as we all know by now, one major aspect of looking your best in mitpachot is plenty of height on top. You need the height. And of course, I put it on with my no-slip band, and I'm using my olive green two-in-one as a base. Now, ordinarily, I would do this with an olive with a green sari because I prefer a more blended look. But for this, I'm purposely going to use my orange sari so that you can see the contrast and therefore really see what's going on. Take my sari scarf and I drape it over my head. And I try to let a little bit of the base scarf peek out just a little bit. I want it to show just a little. So now, now that I have it draped, I take the ends and I tie them underneath. Okay. Now I have these two hanging ends, but before I do anything with that, I've got this uh, scarf tied really wide. And by the way, and I purposely spread it out really wide precisely so that I would get that look. I take the two ends of my base scarf and I bring them up over in the back. This is why you need height on top and this is why you need the extra volume as high up as possible. I crisscross them around the shaper and now I tie them in the back and now I just tuck the ends. I don't want too much hanging here though. Now I take the ends of the sari and I tie them once on top and now I just tuck. And as you can see, what do I get? I get a crown bun. And I love this extra height. I love the texture. I love the color mix. Again, normally I would do more of a blend, but the contrast is really spectacular here. Whatever you do, don't let yourselves be intimidated by anything that looks too strange or complicated. Play around, try things out, see what works because you never know what kind of awesome things you're going to create. Enjoy.